good morning. Uh, today I thought I'd uh, show you uh, how I use another tool that I manufacture which is this um, basically it's a pencil sharpener uh, it consists of a CNC machined brass body with a carbide insert uh, attached to it that I designed up um, and it's designed to put a point on uh, LMR 400 cable I think it's called um, that style of cable it's a uh, a very low loss cable, half inch in diameter uh, and the, the problem is that when you cut the cable it puts a burr on the centre conductor which makes it difficult to uh, fit the connector which is soldered on so this tool here simply removes the burr so I thought I'd show you the, the process uh, basically you need a set of instructions from the manufacturer this one uh, shows the stripping details and how to, uh, they've called it sharpen, I call it pointing the, uh, the centre conductor and then how to fit the rest of it. I'm not going to fit the rest of the connector, I'm just going to simply show how this tool uh, works. Uh, you need a, um, a sharp knife, a rule, pencil. I've got a diamond lap there as well which I keep my uh, knives razor sharp with. Uh, to make the job easier, various cutters, a set of cutters, a pair of pliers, a pair of long nose in case I get into trouble, and this tool here, which is used to cut the cable. You can cut the cable with a, a hacksaw um, and achieve the same result, but I, I like to use this uh, cutter, it does a reasonably good job. The um, the tool has got a 60 degree triangular carbide insert. Um, being carbide it should uh, last much longer than high speed steel um, cutters that I've seen in the past. So I decided to make this one with a carbide uh, insert. Uh, it is indexable which means that uh, should the edge get blunt for any reason you simply undo the screw um, take the uh, carbide insert in, rotate it through um, 60 degrees to get to the next edge and simply screw it in so it should last a very very long time right let's cut this off and show you the process Does a fairly neat job. So we measure it along 18 and a half millimeters and mark it. To, uh, to cut all the way around. I have to come around from the reverse side because the cable's so stiff it's difficult to get it all the way around. And I lay it on the bench and carefully cut the outer jacket all the way through making sure that I get it all the way through, especially on the end there. Have the cutters and start the removal process. And what we're trying to do is remove the outer jacket. And there we have it. Flare back the uh, braid. Now what we're going to do is measure in 5 millimetres from this end, which is right there. Grab the knife and cut all the way around. 
around. Careful not to score too deep into the centre conductor. And you'll find that the insulator is removed fairly quickly and easily. You see there now that uh, there's a burr on this edge which makes it somewhat difficult to put this connector on. It doesn't want to go on. So you use this tool to simply remove the burr. Just like a pencil sharpener. Just taking the burr off the edge there. You don't need to put too much force on it. There we have it. The uh, center pin for this connector is now ready to solder and proceed with the rest of the process. This tool uh, I make for rfshop.com.au in Australia so uh, if you're interested that's where you can buy them from. Thank you.